You should. Just to make it a little different. Remember the Andy Devine show, Our Gang? There's probably not many people in this room who know anything of what I'm talking about. It's an old TV show that was on on Saturday mornings. It was a kid show. In Well, it was on a network show in Boston. And, uh, and they had this... <laughs> They had this one guy who was, <laughs> who was, uh, he was a, he was a frog, and he'd come on and 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 Andy would say, "Plunk your magic twang and frog," and Froggy would come out and go, "Hiya kids, hiya hiya hiya." That's where that comes from. That's where it comes from. Shall we go on? <coughs> we shall. Welcome to MCM, yeah. guys. Thank you. Hiya hiya hiya. <laughs> Uh, where do we start? Uh, I'll kick us off. Um, sure. So what was it like to be working part of the Uncharted series? Uh, it was brilliant. Uh, best job I ever had. Uh, if you know, if you can pinpoint an actor's uh, big break, that would be mine. Uh, just it was the first time that I was the lead of, of such a big, uh, big thing. Not something that we knew was going to be that big at the time. But, um, and you know, that, that uh, we've talked a lot about this, the, the idea that our input mattered. To be to, to 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 head up a franchise, something that became a franchise, and to uh, it was me. It, you know, it wasn't like you're actually technically playing some kind of character. It was or just a voice because it was full body motion capture. It was just like doing a, a, um, a movie or a television series. And as Andy Serkis always says, you know, the only difference is we wore digital makeup, you know, <laughs> the traditional stuff. So it was it was brilliant. I would have to absolutely agree. Yes, best, best job I ever had, and because of all those things that uh, that we were given so much leeway, and our input was requested. It wasn't. It wasn't. You know, if you feel like it was, a, if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and do it. If it's not going to work, we'll we'll just not do that. We'll cut that out. But do what you guys feel like you want to do in, in scenes, and feel like, you know, comfortable with changing lines, changing words, whatever. He didn't press it. <laughs> uh, well, in case you missed it, <laughs> hi, 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 hi. that's what I was going to say. Yes. Sir. So, firstly, happy belated birthday to you. I think your birthday is coming up in a few yeah, days as well. Yeah. So you've got Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 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 thirty first. Yeah, Wednesday, Halloween. Well, it's Wednesday Halloween. in the states. Yeah. Isn't it a different day here? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, Wednesday. Question. Um, Coming from being a journalist to being one of the best sort of voiceover guys in the, in the gaming industry, how did you find that that change over? And, and how did you manage that? a lot less work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, it was, I, I went to college for journalism, then I got a graduate degree in it, and then I was for a year. Uh, but like doing this kind of journalism would, would have appealed to me, this kind of stuff. But uh, you know, I was covering murders and you know suicides and you know, public hearings. It was like just it was all just, the fun stuff. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, Senate Senate primaries. That's going to be the recurring theme here. No, but it was it, it was it was it was uh, horrible. It was just horrible, and it just there. I remember there was one story I did uh, when Betty Rubble became a Flintstone vitamin, and I went to the factory where they had it. And it was like kind of a fun thing, and they had a cutout, and I did the stand-up piece with the cutout. And I was—I remember thinking, "That's fun." And I was like, "I this is terrible. I, what am I doing?" The Betty Rubble stories, my highlight reel. Yeah. It was, it, so, so that was something that uh, moving into acting in general. But I, I, actually, my first thing when I when I left that, I went into uh, doing theater and stand-up. I just had to do something where I could just be fun or funny, just something that. You know, no money, and I was happier. I was broke, but I was happy. And then, you know, now I'm here. <laughs> 22 years later. <laughs> I think that's unfortunately what we've all got time for. Yeah. What? Oh, sorry, we've got to wrap up now. I just sat down. I got it. Hold on. That got, 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 uh, no, no. What, How's that? No. One, one more. Sure. Your playing skill obviously you've had such a varied career. You've been in live, you're on the Titan series. It, 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 what do you think? 
just really. My entire career is a surprise to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, the, the, and the, the a surprise and a delight. I don't want to disillusion anybody. Uh, I, I just barely know what I'm doing, but somehow it works. I, I, I've been blessed. Yeah. I don't know how I got here. Honestly, and I mean, I don't, I don't want that to sound sappy or corny, but I, I really don't. You know, the one thing I love about everything, I just always like to play make believe, and, yeah. and to be able to get paid to do it. Um, right now, with uh, Troy Baker and I, started retro replay, and we're not we're not making a dime doing that, and we're having a ball. And it's like uh, we hope to one day. That's not not I mean, but we're having a ball. Um, but yeah, you know, everything's. You know, everything's a process. There's no mistakes. Everything happens for a reason. Uh, I love, like you said, that, I mean, I have all races, uh, 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 male, female, doesn't matter. Um, that's a, that's my that's my theme music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, the guy with the trumpet's coming. <laughs> but, no, it's great. And that's one of the things that I, I love about voiceover so much because I do have on-camera stuff. I'm, I'm probably going to do a movie, I think, a little small part in a movie and uh, the beginning of the year, but the voiceover stuff, I can be, I can be male, I can be female, I can be Hispanic, black, white, it doesn't matter, and it's not racist, it's not sexist, it, you're, I can be a creature, you know, and it, it doesn't really have a gender, and it's, it's you know, it, it's, they're the most fun. See, I can't do that though, unless someone like unless I gargle glass. So it's it's brilliant, and and I want to keep doing it, and I appreciate everybody who. Cause if it weren't for the fans, and again, this sounds hokey and corny, but seriously, if it weren't for the fans, I wouldn't even be here. Uh, somebody's gonna watch it. Somebody's gonna like it. So, you know, uh, especially like it. Yeah. They can watch it. Go <laughs> next. So thank you for that question. That's uh, it. Does it, it means a lot. So. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, I don't know if that requires a clap. Number one. Bye, yeah, bye, yeah, bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>